Imagine a world where two species of humans, each with their unique evolutionary strengths, came together. Neanderthals, physically gifted specimens, were the apex of raw strength and resilience, perfectly adapted to the harsh climates of Ice Age Europe. Their robust frames, immense musculature, and extraordinary endurance made them formidable hunters and survivors. On the other hand, Homo sapiens, less physically imposing, relied on their cerebral and tactical minds to navigate the challenges of survival. They thrived through innovation, collaboration, and adaptability, wielding their intelligence like a finely honed tool. Now, imagine the union of these two human species through interbreeding, a hybrid child born with the best of both worlds. Theoretically, a hybrid between a Neanderthal and a Homo sapiens would be a remarkable blend of traits. Physically, such a child could inherit the Neanderthal's powerful build, a sturdy frame, thick bones, and the strength to endure the rigors of a world teeming with danger. With this physical prowess, they would excel in tasks demanding brute strength, such as hunting large game or surviving extreme cold. Yet, alongside these physical gifts, the hybrid might also possess the Homo sapiens mind, a keenly analytical brain with the capacity for abstract thought, strategic planning and social cooperation that enabled our species to outlast and outwit the challenges of the ancient world. These hybrid offspring could potentially embody an evolutionary sweet spot, combining Neanderthal endurance with Homo sapiens ingenuity. In a hunting scenario, for instance, they might use their Neanderthal strength to bring down a powerful prey animal, while their Homo sapiens intellect allowed them to use sophisticated hunting tools or coordinate complex group strategies. Their ability to think tactically and analyze situations, paired with their physical capability to execute demanding tasks, would have made them invaluable members of their communities. Socially, hybrids would have served as bridges between the two species, blending the cultures and practices of Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. With their physical gifts, they could master the intimate, hands-on hunting methods of Neanderthals, while their cognitive abilities allowed them to grasp the abstract symbolism and tool innovations of Homo sapiens. Such hybrids might have carried the oral traditions and knowledge of both groups, uniting their strengths and creating a unique cultural fusion. The genetic evidence we see today suggests that this blending of species did indeed occur. Modern humans carry traces of Neanderthal DNA, which contributes to traits such as immune system robustness and even some physical attributes. This genetic legacy hints at how interbreeding not only created hybrids, but also enriched the gene pool of Homo sapiens, potentially giving them the physical advantages needed to thrive in colder environments. It was once believed that Neanderthals dwelt in a state of astonishing savageness and uttering sounds more like the cries of wild beasts than human speech. For much of the last century, Neanderthals were portrayed as gorilla-like, knuckle-dragging brutes, whose extinction some 30,000 years ago was the natural outcome of competing against a more intelligent, creative, and resourceful human species, Homo sapiens. However, the fact that we have so many Neanderthal genes proves that they were much closer to us than we can imagine. Speculatively, these hybrids might have represented the future of both species, Stronger and more adaptable than either Neanderthals or Homo sapiens alone, they would have become a new kind of human, one capable of surviving and excelling in the rapidly changing Pleistocene world. Perhaps if conditions had been different, these hybrids could have forged their own unique evolutionary path, blending Neanderthal strength and Homo sapiens intellect into a truly unstoppable lineage. While Neanderthals eventually vanished, outcompeted by Homo sapiens, their genetic legacy lives on in us. The idea of hybrid children combining the physical gifts of Neanderthals with the cerebral and tactical brilliance of Homo sapiens is not just a compelling narrative of ancient humanity, but a reminder of the interconnectedness of our evolutionary past. Such hybrids would have been living embodiments of humanity's potential to adapt, evolve, and combine strengths in the face of adversity. In time, the children born from these unions carried the strength of both worlds, and their bloodlines would forever intertwine, a testament to the strange and beautiful ways in which humanity has always found a way to connect, even in the most ancient and untamed times.
Indeed, the blood that coursed through this long extinct species had more in common with us than we once believed. In this speculative scenario, we explore how such unions may have occurred. In this scenario, which is based on archaeological facts, for millennia, in the dense ancient forests of the Zagros Mountains of southwest Eurasia 50,000 years ago, two groups of humans lived. The Neanderthals, with their powerful build and deep-set eyes, had dominated the region for generations, their lives shaped by seasonal cycles and natural rhythms. Homo sapiens, taller and more agile, had only recently begun their journey into this rugged land, looking for new hunting grounds and territory. She was a young Neanderthal who roamed the countryside as naked as the day she was born, her body adapted to the cold weather. She was short but strong, about five feet tall, but had good posture, brown skin, brown hair, and a nice smile. She was wearing an eagle talons necklace around her neck, given to her as a gift from her father. He was a tall Homo sapiens man of about six feet, dressed in an animal skin coat with wolf fur trim. He had olive skin, long legs, and long dark brown hair, and his facial features were softer and more delicate than Neanderthal man. She was a daughter of the ancient forest, with acute senses like the animals she hunted. Her people, the Neanderthals, had long roamed these lands, so the dense woods held no secrets for her. She was strong, her muscles honed by years of harsh survival, and her sturdy frame spoke of tenacity. Her large eyes were intelligent and observant, always aware of her surroundings. As the sun dipped lower in the sky, the two were drawn together by a shared warmth. The Neanderthal, with her strength and the Homo sapiens, with his quick mind, communicated via actions rather than words. They shared a fire, pushing the limits of their mutual curiosity. The night deepened, and he admired her raw power, her presence embodying the savage world. She, in turn, was captivated by his subtle grace and the novelty he introduced. Their differences became less noticeable in the dim light of the fire. In that moment, they shared something primal yet profound, a silent understanding that crossed the boundaries of their species. They were two beings, drawn together by curiosity and a desire to connect, even if only for a moment. Perhaps it was the first step toward bridging a world they could not yet fully understand, a meeting that would echo through time, carried by the genes of those who would come after them. Nonetheless, scientists know surprisingly little about the time in human history when our species came together. When two populations are close but very different, because they speak different languages, have different traditions, or live in neighbouring territories, they will exchange women. However, when we consider what occurred at the point of contact 50,000 years ago, we can see that all Homo sapiens have Neanderthal DNA, but no recent Neanderthal has modern Homo sapiens DNA. While the last Neanderthals carried archaic Homo sapiens DNA, but no modern Homo sapiens DNA. Furthermore, in regards to the distinction between modern humans and Neanderthals, many paleoanthropologists now recognize them as subspecies, Homo sapiens sapiens and Homo sapiens neanderthalensis, in accordance with their overlapping morphology and genetics. This is an important issue for understanding Neanderthal extinction and the precise interaction of the two populations. And this is critical in terms of cultural anthropology because gene exchange is not always a love affair. As previously stated, when two populations are close but vastly different, they will exchange women. That means women have greater mobility, which means my sister will join your tribe and your sister will join mine. And genetic evidence reveals that the issue of patrilocality, or women's mobility, was also important to Neanderthals. Whatever the case, speculating on the relationship between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens invites us to imagine a fascinating dynamic between two distinct yet interconnected branches of humanity. Neanderthals, with their robust physiques and unparalleled strength, represented the pinnacle of physical adaptation to the harsh Ice Age environment. Their powerful builds and endurance allowed them to thrive in a world that demanded brute force and resilience. The physical gifts of Neanderthals were nothing short of extraordinary. Their barrel-shaped chests, wide pelvises, and strong limb bones were perfectly suited to conserve heat in cold climates, 
and endure the demands of their environment. They could exert immense physical strength, essential for hunting large Ice Age animals like mammoths and woolly rhinoceroses. Their thick skulls and robust facial structures further suggest they were built to withstand physical trauma, whether from hunting dangerous prey or navigating rugged terrain. These traits, while specialized, made them formidable competitors in a world that tested survival at every turn. However, as Homo sapiens began to dominate the landscape and Neanderthal populations dwindled, these hybrids would have been absorbed into the broader Homo sapiens gene pool, leaving their physical and cognitive legacy to enrich future generations. With that tantalizing statement, we leave you to contemplate the mysteries of our shared human history. Until next time, remain curious and stay questioning. Please subscribe, share and check out our channel's other videos. Thank you and take care.